Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at Clothes in Motion. Clothes in Motion is an amazing add-on for creating clothes and we already talked about these during the November sales and a couple of you guys asked, you know, to test this tool out and see how it works and I did contact the developer. Now the beautiful thing about this is right now you can actually go ahead and get it as the version 2.0 which was promised sometime in november is now here and as well if you would like to get 25 percent off you can go over to this link so there's a custom link in the description that has a coupon code and once you proceed to check out it'll take you over to the blender market where you can get 25 percent off so with this said let's dive directly into blender and see what and what we can get out of this tool with blender simply open First things you need to do is to go over to edit, go over to your preference and do the installation. So once you do that, if you press N on your keyboard, you would now notice that you have clothes in motion right here. This is, you know, this is very simple. It is exactly what the name is. It is clothes that you can use in making animations and doing stuff like that. So we have ourselves a simple grid. So let's go ahead and follow tradition, right click, make that subdivision, press the tab key. And right now I can select this object, which is, you know, our cube and make this a collider, select this other one and convert this to clot. So, you know, the first time you get to see this, everyone is going to be like, ah, you know, it's just the same thing. It's the same old cloth thing. You could just simply do this in Blender. Okay. So, but it actually gets interesting in the sense that now that you're done with this, you remember every single time or you know that every single time that you're making your cloth simulation or you're simulating clothes, you have to press the playback button to get that cloth simulating all the time. But that is not the case with a tool like this. So what does this tool do? So with this here, you can now tell the clothes in motion tool or you can now tell your tool that you would like to convert this to a key now certain things to keep in mind you need to make sure that you have your playback at the end so somewhere like frame zero and then click on convert to keys now once you click on convert to keys automatically this is going to convert every single you know simulation that you have into shape keys this is very brilliant so right now i can select the main clothes itself i can hide this i can delete it i can do whatever i want and if i select the clothes which is now a shape key and go over to where i have my object data you would notice i have shape keys right here so by simply pressing the playback button i now have this sort of alembic style animation but the ones that have keyframe so right now you notice that we have keyframes every single place and these keyframes are driven by these shape keys and this would save you a lot of processing time so for those who like to create animated clothes and you don't want to get that simulation or caching this every single time this would save you a lot of resources in terms of computer performance so at this point you can go in and subdivide this and you know you can raise this one all the way up so let's bounce this up just slightly up and then press the playback button and you notice that you have that perfect stop. Now this is very, very cool. But then let's go back and talk about some other things that are even cooler. So we would go in and make a brand new scene. So let's grab a brand new scene right here and then let's look at something else. So press N on your keyboard and let's do that. Press N on your keyboard, go over to clothes in motion and right here you notice we have add. So if you click on the add button, you notice that there are a couple of library stuff that you can get. You need wristwatch for your model. There's a wristwatch. If you need some glasses, you need some kicks. There are some kicks. So you're not just getting an add-on that simulates clothes. You're also getting some premium library assets that you can use. So you can pick up this. Let's click on that you know just make sure that it's available on the viewport so you can get this and you know you save yourself that time of making this model in the first place and you can also take a look at some other cool things that you can grab so you need some pockets you see we have some good pockets right here if you need some glasses you have some cool glasses and if you might need some buttons for your model amazing buttons you can work with belts bases all of this stuff you can get them there is a base character that you can work with Although I did speak with a developer and he said that there are some cooler sets of characters that might be coming later. But then let's take a look at this. So first things first, once you bring in this character, you notice that we have 
this huge rig setup we don't want to deal with this huge rig setup so what do we do click on clean rig and once you click on clean rig it gives you just the exact set of controls that you need so at this point you can go over to your pose editor you can select any part of your model and you can start making some cool adjustments but this model is more like the base for you to start creating clots with this one right here if we click on add and go over to the base you notice we have a base for the shaft and also for the top so if we click on top and click on ok we have a base top right here and we can start simulating this base top so by clicking on the base model and making the base model a collider pressing the playback button automatically you would notice that we have the clothes simulation happening now if you would like to stretch these you want to get something cooler from this you can also do that so let's stop the animation right here bounces all the way back select this press the tab key and then we will switch over to edges click on one part go all the way around hold on control click on the next one and we're going to stretch this one right down now by simply stretching this down we can also go ahead and make a selection right click subdivide and let's actually subdivide this one again press the tab key and then we will press the playback button and automatically you have yourself a clot so if you want to style this you want to make some long sleeve you want to make some shots you can do that you can also notice that if you would like to add some pants you can also do the same thing click right here add some shots if shots are what you want to add and if you would like to add some more stuff you can also do those but then you guys might be asking what about the pockets what can you do with the pockets okay so let's take a look at those pockets and see what you can do with them so by default if you simply want to attach pockets buttons stuff like that click find the pockets that you want and for this case we can select any of these pockets so i might just simply go with this pocket let's go with pocket one and let's bounce this all the way back to zero okay so let's find that right here click grab the pocket click on ok to add the pocket right here you'll notice we have a gigantic pocket press s to scale this one down click right here position this up and let's rotate this around so once you have this rotated and placed in its perfect position so once you have the pocket in the position where you want it to be you can go over to the modifier stack click right here where you have the shrink wrap and then select the target so i'm just going to click on the eyedropper and click right onto this and that is automatically going to be the target now with this being the target we can actually go in and if you start moving this you can expand this stuff so this is how it has been made so if you want to make it deeper you know you want to make it extrude a little bit more you want to shrink this in you can do all of those so once you're done you can easily go in there and press the playback button to get yourself some very cool animation happening right here meanwhile let's take a look at something else before we go so for that i'm just going to go ahead and get a brand new scene and then let's make this subdivided let's also right click make this a smooth shade click right here make sure we apply that and we would add ourselves a grid scale this one up raise this all the way up right click and subdivide just one is good so press the tab key to have that going so we'll do the same thing that we did earlier go back to clothes in motion make this one a collider and then make this a simple clot now once we press the playback button in most cases you might have issues now if you eventually find yourself having issues with stuff like this there are some very cool and helpful tools that are here to help you so let's say we were doing an animation and it has to do with 20 frames and i'm going to go ahead and scale this one all the way up so if we're doing an animation where it has to just deal with 20 frames and in most cases you don't you know like the results that you get let's extend this to about 60 and in most cases you don't like the results that you get at the end of the day and you would like to you know make some tweaks by yourself you want to change some stuff you can actually do that right now so by default we already talked about the idea that once you have this going that you can convert this to keys so if we simply convert this simple plane to keys and we have this key right here let's turn this one off and maybe there are some parts where you don't really like what is going on let's say at the frame 60 the very last frame like so you don't really like some sort of things that's going on or you have some artifacts you can go over to that frame click on edit frame and it's going to bring you over to the sculpt room now with you in the sculpt room you can use the grab tool and you can press f on your keyboard and make some changes so if this is what you want you want to make some of these changes you can do that and once you're done you can switch back and go over to the object mode and if there are any parts of your simulation that seems to have some artifacts you can also go in there 
and make some of these changes yourself. So this is definitely going to be about it. For those who want to grab this, you want to take a look at some of the cool stuff that comes with this, or maybe you just want to test this tool out. You want to see how you can make some pretty cool clothes. You will find this one very, very useful. So link to the coupon code is also going to be in the description where you can grab this. And if you want to check out the page and see some of the cool things that they have, there's also going to be a link in the description for you to check this one out as well. And of course, if you have any suggestion for add-ons or probably, you know, software tool that you would like us to talk about, you can also suggest that on Discord. And if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.